This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have literally everything from Vivid Voltage already up on stock to specific promo codes like Eternatus. Definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by cardmarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. It's fantastic. You can sell your own cards or uh, purchase cards from people all across Europe. So definitely check out both of my sponsors. You're gonna help me out a ton. So uh, thanks again for uh, tuning in for this video. Enjoy. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today it's time to be playing with a rogue deck, Cramorant from the new set Vivid Voltage is actually pretty interesting. It has the continuous gulp missile, which actually slaps 60 damage for every Aracuda we decide to discard from our bench. So this fella, we're gonna discard a lot of them throughout the games, that's gonna be fantastic for us. We of course can use its attack if we go second and uh, yeah, this is the first turn. We can actually use Flock to get two Arakudas up on the bench, which is not too bad. We're also running three capture energy to find it. And we also are running the evolution here, Barascuda, which is able to snipe 20 damage to one of the opponent's bench Pokemon for every damage counter on that Pokemon. So basically, uh, yeah, doubling the amount of damage that is on there as the damage output. So sometimes you can use Continuous Gulp Missile for 120, finish the job with a 240 snipe with Barascuda. So if you're able to evolve it, that's gonna be fantastic. Our main draw engine will be the Dreamy Revelation Jirachi, the amazing rare here because we need to find our twin energy because Caramorant can only uh, use this attack very significantly if we use one attachment. So we're gonna be using something like Rotom Phone, putting the energy on top of the deck and drawing it out with Jirachi. We have U-turn board for Jirachi and uh, the also we're also gonna draw out with Lucky Egg. If our uh, Cramorant gets knocked out and it has Lucky Egg, we draw cards until we have seven because our main supporter of choice will be a Nessa in the late game because the only thing we will need to do, use Nessa, get our four Aracudas back and we're uh, back on rolling again. Uh, our gusting options will be Great Catcher and two uh, Pokemon Catcher because we cannot afford to play Boss since we need to play NASA or Research. Those are our only supporters. There's also one copy of Erika in here, technically drawing us more cards. Tool Scrapper is awesome because you can get rid of stuff like uh, the uh, Big Charms on Picaram or the Metal Goggles on the uh, uh, Metal type stuff. And uh, we also need Chaotic Squall just to have an answer against Wondrous Labyrinth because we are gonna attack with Twin Energy. We don't want uh, Wondrous Labyrinth messing that up. So this is the list that we're gonna be rocking with today. So hopefully you guys are excited for some Rogue Madness. As mentioned, this is not the, the most busted deck in the world, but we're gonna have some fun today. So if you're enjoying the content on the channel, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. And without further ado, let's show some love to Cramorant. I do love Cramorant. Cramorant V has uh, always been, uh, yeah, a slot in my Blacephalon list ever since it's released in Sword and Shield. We're also gonna get a Cramorant V Max in the upcoming set. So uh, Cramorant getting a lot of love in the trading card game and this is a one prize rogue deck and uh, I don't know if you've noticed but I do enjoy myself a good one prize deck. We've play tested with Blacephalon throughout the season. Now Whimsicott is a good deck. We uh, are also gonna check out Garbodor very shortly but now it's time for us to be playing with none other than Cramorant with the Aracudas. We're up against a fighting deck so probably Colossal V Max. A little bit scary, but our damage output should be sufficient to two-shot this fella. Okay, we start with an Aracuda. Could be worse. Because right now we can actually get two Aracudas from the deck instantly. Okay, this is Excadrill. Excadrill does have a huge amount of HP. I think it was 140. Was it 140? Either way, we need to discard two Aracudas to have a shot, a shot at uh, winning against this kind of an archetype. So Excadrill still around. Also, this deck is relying on a lot of two prize Pokemon. So if he doesn't have his um, Island Challenge Amulets, we can uptrade on those very, very nicely. Okay, he starts off with Drillbur, so I wonder what we should do here. Probably attaching to the Aracuda, but first things first, we can use Rotom Phone to put something on top of the deck and drawing it out with Erika. Okay, let's go. We have another Aracuda or a Great Ball. Yeah, I think I'll take the Aracuda for now. Lucky Egg is also decent for sure. Yeah, let, uh, let us get ourselves the Aracuda and we will, uh, yeah. Let's see here what we are able to do. We need to just attach here so we can play the Erica, right? I 
attaching to the Aracuda. Then drawing out another Oracuda together with... Yeah, there is the uh, Oracorio GX. Very interesting for sure. We can use communication. We have a research here, which is awesome. That's going to be for next turn. So for now, let's get ourselves Cramorant. We already have twin energy in hand. Yeah, this looks fine as it is. Also, uh, we're going to be putting in some work very shortly. Also, Rotom Phone will protect us from stuff like Marnie, but I don't think this list will be running Marnie. So let's go with Flock. <laughs> and this is the attack that I'm uh, very fond of. Also going to check out. We still have three uh, twin energies to work with, which is awesome. So we have been set up here. Four Arakudas. I wonder if he's gonna have an Excadrill. There's two Excadrill in the discard pal. There could be two prize for all I know. So we are having a great position. We have a research for next turn. We also didn't rely on the Oracorio, a two prizer just yet. And if we get our great catcher, we can take two prize cards on the Danny GX, which is awesome. Also, I'm just gonna check here. Excadrill has 140 HP, so we do need to discard three Aracudas. So next turn, we're gonna be able to one-hit KO uh, the Excadrill as in the active slot. Uh, hopefully he will not have anything going for him. Okay, he has a head, so uh, hopefully he knocks us out. If not, we can scoop up that, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna find an energy. How many energies in his discard pile? Zero, okay, interesting for sure. Only four cards in hand. Is he gonna rely on to another Dedane GX or a Crobat V? There's a Minchino, Minchino and then a Research probably. Yeah, our little Aracuda is not looking too bright here. Another Dedane here, okay. He's not wasting any time drawing through his entire deck. He will need to find more Pokemon though. His Excadrill is something we are able to one shot. We do have resistance, so his attack here of uh, 11 hour tackle slapping one, actually it's a, uh, yeah, Drill Bazooka 120 will not KO or Cramorant. Just as a little side note, definitely uh, consider the fact about that. He will need to two-shot our Kremlin. Okay, he still doesn't get out of the active position. Okay, awesome. Let's go with this scenario. Scoop up that. Yeah, slapping that. I think in this scenario, we just want to find another attacker, right? Or the Jirachi Amazing Rare, that's also fine. And we can use a Rotom Phone, putting something we want on top of the deck, like the Great Catcher. Yeah, that's something I will preferring to do. Although, if we knock out this fella, he still needs another turn to attack. We can use the Great Catcher later. Yeah. Don't think he's gonna have two Island Challenge Amulets at the same time. This is a good hand, putting that Lucky Egg on our fella as well. And let's go with the Continuous Gulp Missile. One, two, three. Discarding these and uh, taking the KO here. Shazam! Okay, 180, getting rid of the Excadrill, that's fine. Hopefully, <laughs> they just can see, oh boy. Yeah, Cramorant taking our first W here on the versus ladder. This was nice, this was nice. Uh, very consistent, we would have gotten 240 uh, damage output on our second turn. Very solid indeed, but you have to be careful of your bench space because you cannot afford to slap any other Pokemon. We do have a one prize Hoopa in here, which could be nice because we can also get that back from the discard pal. But the Hoopa is nice if the opponent relies on a ton of abilities. Okay, what is our opponent up next? We won against Excadrill. It was another one prize deck. So this one prize deck against other one prize decks will have it nice, I think. Unless they are relying on a huge amount of Reset Stamp or Marnie. Because, yeah, let's face it. If you don't have your Nessa after you've used the Continuous Gulp Missile, you're going to have a uh, terrible time. Okay, opponent is very friendly saying hello. We're going to say hello back. How you doing? I wonder what this is. Carlos deck box could be anything. Could be running Orangaroo from Sword and Shield with the Primate Wisdom. Okay, we start with Amazing Rare Jirachi. Ah, uh, this is good. We have a communication and a Quick Ball and of course a Cramoran. Could have also started with Cramoran to start a Donk position because we could have gotten out 120 on the second turn. But one, yeah, we could have done that. Dang it! Another one prize deck is in our path, and actually wanted to get the KO here. Okay, this is Scovit. Scovit and a Whimsicott party. Okay, we will need to find our U-turn board, our scoop up net to get Jirachi out of the active position so we can take down this Cottony. The only thing we will need is one single Arakuda to knock out this Cottony. Is he going to retreat this Cottony? No, he is not. Okay, great ball time. Finding ourselves, let's see here. Hoopa could have done some stuff, but he doesn't have abilities, so definitely taking, taking the crown around, sure. Why not? We're gonna go with communication. Putting the... Yeah, I don't wanna put this back. 
two Cramorants is actually not, not bad. He's probably gonna take the KO next turn, so putting this Cramorant back in the deck and finding ourselves an Aracuda. Alright, Cramorant, Aracuda. Great Catcher is nice, but I wonder if he's gonna be playing the Danny GX or not. Let's get ourselves another Aracuda. They're all in the deck, which is awesome. We still have two Pokemon Catcher, just have a little bit of luck by our side. I wish I would have gotten like a research from this. Uh, or something to switch out. Rotom Phone, Great Ball, yeah, this is terrible. This is terrible for sure. He's gonna be able to get the first KO, and that's bad. Yeah, not gonna be attaching that anytime soon because he can actually gust over. Okay, Rotom Phone gets us the U-turn board. It gets us the U-turn board. Will he find, he probably has Whimsy Cut and Tool Cards, right? Probably, let's just put this on top while we're at it and just call it a day. Will Jirachi see the discard pile or not? That is the question of the day. He probably has Whimsicott and uh, he will need two tool cards in order to do activate some stuff. Okay, he has access to a tool card in the form of Greedent. Greedent finds the tool card of choice. Ah, it's too bad that we didn't find our uh, U-turn board, otherwise we could have been able to KO this Cottony and uh, we would have been in a great position to win this game right now. It's unsure how this game will develop. Okay, he gets a U-turn board. Pretty scary. Okay, there's Oracorio. He slaps that down very carelessly. That means we can target it with Pokemon Catcher at one point. Up trading. There's a Lucky Egg coming down to the Whimsicott and a U-turn board and he is going to KO us. Hopefully no Cottony pops up, that is also gonna leave us with a, an up trade. Okay, Flying Fury, that's good. No Cottony inside, that is actually the same thing that could have happened here. Also Lucky Egg gets destroyed. We will top deck a U-turn board, so maybe we should have gotten something else with our Rotom Phone. Okay, let's go. We got knocked out. He has an Oracorio. We have an Oracorio. Let's do this. We get more stuff. Let's go with. Hmm. I don't know what I should go with. Like this? Communication. Like Quick Ball and. We getting ourselves another one of these fellas. Seems okay to me. Ta ta! And yeah, let's put the U-turn board on here while we're at it. We can get that back if we get knocked out, but the Rotom Phone will put something funny on top. And that's going to be Nessa. Very nice to get back our Oracudas for next turn. Yeah, I'll gladly take it. Let's go. Continuous gulp. One, two. That is more than enough to <laughs> take care of this Whimsicott. Kacha! So we're in a nice position. Cramorant on the active slot where we will top deck Nessa uh, unless he plays Reset Stamp. Tool Scrapper, not the most interesting card I would have wished from the, the prize card, but the Tool Scrapper can actually get rid of some tool cards that he now attaches, something like Lucky Egg, for instance. Or, yeah, he does get the U-turn board back to the hand. He always has access to tool cards, thanks to Greedon. Will he carelessly slap them down? Yeah, the Island Challenge Amulet, that's huge. We can get rid of the Island Challenge Amulets on stuff like Oracorio to definitely take the two prize poke. Uh, this is cool. Okay, Nessa will get herself two Aracudas, that means we slap 180, so whatever's in the active position, it will go down. Ranguru, Scovit. There's the U-turn board coming down on the Greedent. Island Challenge Amulet, of course, on the Oracorio, putting it uh, to 70 HP remaining, but it turns into a one prizer. Very important for sure. Will he see some Cottonies? I haven't seen any Quick Balls being played. There's the Air Balloon, okay, fine. I do love the fact that, like, imagine us getting something very nice, like uh, a Pokemon Catcher or whatever. We don't have a draw support just yet, but we will have Nasa to take another K KO here. Okay, cool. Okay, he just uh, gives up this COVID. Fine. Let's go with Nasa. Still doesn't have a Cottony. Very funky enough. Let's go with Tool Scrapper. <laughs> yeah, while we're at it, let's get rid of this and that. So he doesn't draw cards with his lucky egg. Aracuda, Aracuda. 
and go continuous gulp we're uh, gulping this fella up it's 120 damage on that fella and we will draw what do we get it's a lucky egg oh yeah not what we needed I, this is all gonna come down to a top deck here hopefully anessa Nessa is definitely awesome if not we can safely retreat our cramorant and just maybe use flock <laughs> getting uh, the last aracuda out of the deck I wish we would have been knocked out right now because then we can rely on Dance of the Tributes, but nope, not gonna happen. I'll enchant Jamalit again, so he's gonna turn that uh, Orcorio back to a to a two prizer. Still need some cuttings here. Still haven't seen them, so he clunks up his deck with Greedin. I think the build without Greedin is better. And uh, <laughs> we are in a nasty situation. I think I should have grabbed like a Jirachi at one point to get ourselves some more uh, dig potential. Right now we're just hoping for a research or a Nessa top deck. Can we get it? Who knows? But Nessa is really busted in this list. You can get back your Aracudas as well as your Kramer in one go. And if we put the Lucky Egg on the uh, Oracorio, like even if he bosses the Oracorio, we definitely get cards. Okay, Ordinary Rod. He gets back his uh, whimsy cut line and the energy. Okay, he leaves the cotton yeah, where it's at. Okay, fine. I only challenge Amulet. Okay, that's bad. But he probably will have to discard that at one point because his damage multiplier is 40. So that's 50, 90. He still needs to discard three tool cards in order to KO us. Which is pretty okay. Unless he has all of these U-turn boards established, we should be fine. Where is the cottony? Right now, we're looking for some cottony action. We're, there's a lot of one prize decks on the on the, the versus ladder right now. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section if you're gonna try this Cramorant out. Look at that, he's gulping it around. Awesome, Aracuda's here. Very tasty fish as it states. If it sees any movement around it, this Pokemon uh, charges for it straight away. Leading with its sharply pointed jaw, it is uh, very proud of that jaw. Very proud of that jaw, huh? Okay, another two prizer. Come on. Lana's Fishing Rod. Okay, getting a tool card back and a Pokemon. <laughs> the last time I saw this, I was up against Spelltag Melly back in the days. Not one, <laughs> not too fun. There's the Cotney, he finally made it. Only one though. Only one. Whimsy Cut is also uh, part of the squad. So we are ahead in the prize race, which is good. There's already one boss in this discard pile, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, there isn't. Maybe that was a different game. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I think, that, yeah, that was in the Excadrill. He still has access to boss. Okay, he's promoting Scovit. Ta ta da! Quick Ball. Well, have you ever? We can quick ball and take another KO. How amazing is that? Also, we could have gotten our Jirachi here, but no, 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 no. Let's go with continuous gulp. Taking KOs is the best thing ever. Okay, hopefully we will draw a lot of good things. Either we draw with uh, the Oracorio. Oh yeah, there's Barracuda. Nah, that's a terrible prize card right now. We're in the prize race, winning the prize race at the moment. He could actually go after our Oracorio here. If he knocks that out, then he might even donk us. Because, yeah, look at it. Imagine we top decking Nessa, that would be incredible. Yeah, I wonder, is he gonna go for the boss play? We got rid of our lucky egg, unfortunately. So maybe we, we should have saved our lucky egg. Hopefully no boss in our Oracorio, come on. He could also knock out our only attacker, but then we draw three cards and we need to hope we get a basic Pokemon or we get destroyed. Basic Pokemon or Nessa, either will work fine. We do have the U-turn uh, board. Okay, we're still not out of the woods just yet. This is uh, this is the, the scary part about playing Cranorant. Your bench position is like very, very crazy. Okay, he has 23 cards left in the deck. Okay, there is the boss play on Oracorio. Holy macaroni. If we don't top deck NASA, it's over. Okay, this is the scenario we're in right now. I wish we top deck like Jirachi 
or Great Ball. Yeah, either of those cards will work. Or Research. We've only played one supporter throughout this game. <laughs> he played it very perfectly. That is the problem with Cramorant right here. Equaling the playing field. There's the Lucky Egg. And uh, yeah, that is just well played. Our, uh, we got outbenched here because he knocked out uh, the Oracorio here. Maybe we should have saved our Lucky Egg and not gone for the KO1. That's COVID. Mm, that could have been a play, but I, I was too eager to take prize card. And also we, we got a horrible prize card in the form of Barascuda. We're going to be playing another game with our funky Cramorant deck. Okay, we're up against the Water type deck. Okay, if you don't have a Jirachi or Orokorio established and you go all out discarding all your Aracudas, you will be in a situation that we were in like the previous game <laughs> where Cramorant is your only Pokemon in play and then you get uh, knocked out. Okay, this is not bad. We have a Rotom Phone, Great Balls, Aracudas. Probably should have started with Aracuda, by the way. Probably. I think you always have to start with uh, the uh, Aracuda, but I'm like tempted. Maybe we top deck something fine to get ourselves rolling. We have a great ball. Maybe that could be a Jirachi. Okay. This is probably going to be Gal Dermanitan. Galarian Dermanitan. VMAX. Okay, there we see him. Spread archetype. Good news is we get rid of these fellas as quickly as possible thanks to discarding them. So not the biggest issue in the world for us. Also, the Sanjuru can uh, switch around for free. Switch uh, with the runaround. Look at the artwork. Very cute. Alolan Sanjuru. We have a lucky egg. What is this guy able to do? 50 and paralysis. 190 and 132 and 32 itself. Okay, communication. Come on, get your two prizes out. I'm expecting the Danny GX. Get it out. Or maybe a Snum. The Snum. Okay, Eldigo is going back in the deck. Yeah, this is looking terrible. Hopefully our Rotom Foam will provide us with something funky. Or we will be in trouble. Okay, he gets out Snum. Nice and easily. Probably has some other stuff left. Okay, on his first turn. Getting the Snum out is not too shabby. He is not able to play down a supporter, so maybe we're fine. Telescopic Sight, not gonna matter. Yeah, it could matter if he goes after our Orcorio Jax. Mawal, okay. He could Mawal us, sure. We already have three Pokemon in play, so probably not gonna matter too much. But I do understand the uh, appeal of using the telescopic side, using Mawal, putting some stuff down. He only has one card left in his hand, that's probably a research. I think 100%. It's, okay, it's Crobat's even more busted than I thought. Okay, he's not able to play it on a supporter and his bench is full. He could, he could attach an energy to Galarian V. Galarian Dermanitan V if he wants to. Lots of new decks on the ladder today. Whimsicott, Galarian Dermanitan V. <laughs> I am not sure we're going to be able to win this matchup, although there's a lot of two prize Pokemon on the bench which we can take down. With Pokemon Catcher. Okay, let's go with Great Ball. Great Ball providing us with another Cramorant. Well, at least we have that going for us. Let's go with the Rotom Phone. The Rotom Phone putting nothing. Actually, nothing that we want. The Nessa is nice, but not right now. One ability, two ability. Only two abilities. Yeah, put a Rotom Phone on top. Lucky Egg. Cramorant. Fine for now. Yeah, this is turning into quite the event here. We are dead drawing, no Jirachi, no Orokorio. What is he going to do? He still has Sandscrew in the active slot. Is he going to be able to KO our Cramorant or not? That is the question. If so, we draw cards until we have seven. If not, hopefully Rotom Phone can put something on top of the deck for next turn. Okay, another Snum appears. I wonder how this will go. Okay, red and blue. He's going to evolve his Sandshrew with red and blue, getting two energies in play. Why would you play red and blue if you have Frostmoth? That is the question, right? He has 100 damage to every opponent that already has damage counters on it. Nobody. Okay. 
I also imagine pairing uh, Orb Beetle V Max with this. Interesting. We should try this out. Okay, the Capacious Bucket coming along. I'm getting two energies. Ooh, very fancy holographic energies. Wow. And there's the Danny. Okay, now he has three two prizers on the bench. We have Catcher. There is an option. There's the Galarian. They're Maxitan, <laughs> as we call him. Alright, he knocks us out. 120. Clean. Okay, we get Oracorio, which is nice. We need to discard all of the Aracudas now. Let's go. Try this out. Come on. Communication. We're gonna wait with the communication. First things first, let's go with a great ball. Great ball providing us with nothing at all. Wow. Insane. Okay, let's slap down this Oracorio. Let's go with yeah, the Rotom Phone first so we can actually decide to, what we can put in here. Capture energy. Capture energy. Great ball. We have a Pokemon communication which can turn itself. We still know a uh, supporter whatsoever. But we can still draw some stuff out with the Cramorant. We already have one attach of the turn if we want. Can turn that to Jirachi, but Jirachi is also not what I wanted to use here. Ah. Yeah, these are all cards I don't want, so I'm actually gonna go with communication first. These are all cards I didn't need. Hopefully, we'll draw an energy. Let's go. Dance of the Tributes. Da, 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 da. Okay, there is a research. Fine. Pokemon Catcher could be nice. Like 200. We are now slapping 180. Da, 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 da. The Catcher fails, unfortunately. So let's go with research. Could have actually evolved into a uh, Barrascuda. We have another one ready. Rotom Phone Quick Ball. Dual Scrapper, getting rid of this. Rotom Phone, let's go with Quick Ball. We have Nessa, right? One of these. He probably will knock us out, so... Getting a backup attacker ready. Rotom Phone, what can we put? That's the Nessa, but still no energy inside, so... Probably we'll just knock out the Cramorant, unless he plays boss. Think we will need to go with Research first, so we can find ourselves the energy that we need. We have another Pokemon Catcher, that's gonna be waiting for next turn. We're gonna draw a lot of cards after he knocks us out. Presumably. Telescopic side, back at it again. This is a tree prizer. Okay, Marnie. We will top deck the research, which is awesome. Come on. We have a quick ball. Oh, this is got this is good. This looks good. He can actually knock us out with the Alolan Sand Sledge. Frost mod, or is he gonna go crazy with the uh, Galarian Dermanitan V Max? Oh no, he's just gonna attack with Sand Slash, that's fine. Understandable. We do get lots of cards, by the way. Alright. Another lucky egg for this fella. Great ball. Finding ourselves the last Arakuda. This is actually a busted hand. Actually, don't wanna waste it just yet. Let's go with Rotom Phone first. Rotom Phone. No twin energy on top of the deck. Yeah, not what you want to see, right? Let's get rid of this energy. Getting ourselves. Yeah, Hoopa is very nice. They're all very nice, to be honest. Research first. Two Nessas in here. Yeah, there's uh, so many Nessas that I don't want to make use of that. Let's go with the Dance of the Tributes. <laughs> Come on, man. Swell. Mm. 
this is not good. We need to research at this point. Where are our twin energies? Okay, there is a couple of twin energies popping around right now. One, two, three, four. Taking the KO. You don't need to go overboard like 180, 200, yeah. They'll go away. We get damage onto ourselves. Lucky egg. And a quick ball. Well, without Nessa, this is going to be very difficult. Also, he's going to knock us out, but we do have a U-turn board to go along with that. Hoopa can also pack quite a punch. What do we have to work with? One Nessa remaining. Marnie, okay. Marnie could be nice because we are we don't have the ordinary rod or the Nessa right now. We actually had to discard like lots of these Nessas, which is unfortunate. But we still oh here's Palpat, that's good. And we have the twin energy. Okay, I, lo I love the Palpat right here. <laughs> This guy is able to slap. 200 on the active and then 60 on Orocorio. Switching around, okay. Nope, he's not doing it. What is he doing? Okay, if that is the case, let's go. Palpat. Nessa, Nessa. So we have more Nessas to work with. Maybe he thinks we cannot get it. One, two, three, four, but we will get it. 180, right? Yeah, this is fine. We're gonna. Ju we just need Nessa then. Okay, Arakuda, Arakuda, Arakuda is 180, just enough. And then yeah, I'll take a Cramorant. Cramorant, this, that. So we actually can get this Twin Energy equipped already. And this, let's go. Continuous goal. One, two, three, Shazam! <laughs> and the alley goes, goes down. <clears throat> okay, what do we get? Two prize cards for that, that's fantastic. Capture energy as well. Okay, we have two of these. The only thing we need is like a Nessa and the Great Catcher to win the game. He also is playing Nessa. I wonder why he didn't attack. He could have attacked us, but he didn't want to bump into the Lucky Egg or something. I don't know. I wonder why he retreated. Maybe he doesn't have enough energies or didn't have enough energies yet. He has three energies right now. Nessa with the beautiful water energies. <laughs> There's a lot of Nessa plays in this game. 230 on everything. Okay. That doesn't matter too much here. Oof. Wow. Look at that. Activating this. Okay, we need a Nessa and Great Catcher. Okay, there's the Nessa. There is the Nessa. We just need to find Great Catcher. Dance of the Tributes. Interesting for sure. What can we do with this? Yeah, Nessa <laughs> for sure. Let's take all these Arakudas. This guy has 320 HP, right? So I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna. Is there still a Barracuda in here? I'm actually gonna check it out. Great catch. Oh, there's still a Barracuda in here and the Great Catcher as well. We're gonna be sniping uh, this guy. We're gonna do enough damage. We're gonna be attaching one water energy on one of the Arakudas. One lucky egg over here. So, bust it for sure. Okay, what else? Don't want to be drawing into scoop up nets, so we're actually going to. Mm, yeah, let's just get rid of the hoopa while we can. Nessa and Great Catcher, all the good stuff is still in there. We're gonna scoop up. Either we use Barracuda with Great Catcher, or we yeah win instantly. So let's go with the con continuous gulp. Discarding two of these, that's 120. <laughs> you have a good deck. Hello, thank you. Okay, he has the boss, fine.
Okay, this again. Mm-hmm. Barracuda. And there's still a great catcher in our list, so what can we do? Is uh U-turn board. It doesn't matter anymore because we will draw into Great Catcher. Yeah, now we showcased everything from this deck so we can Great, great Catcher something. It doesn't matter. And now we can use Barrascuda. <laughs> it's full potential. Well played. And we're gonna be using this for one single Water Energy 240 freaking damage. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, there we go. This is the deck for you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to mouse the like button as always. That helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. And uh, try out this Rogue Cramoran deck. It's so much fun, I, I guarantee you that. Also, uh, be sure to thank my sponsors for making this video happen. Uh, PotownStore.com. If you're looking for TCGO code cards, you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. So whatever you're purchasing, your total amount, 5%. So definitely go check out PotownStore.com. And if you are a European player, you can check out CardMarket.com. This is a perfect platform to buy and sell cards on there to people all across Europe. So I definitely recommend using the platform. You will get addicted to selling your cards or uh, buying cards on there. I reckon you that. So uh, it is on the screen right now, a coupon code for five euros. So if you're the lucky person that uh, got the code, be sure to let me know what you're gonna buy with that five euros. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks again for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next one very, very shortly. Peace out.